Right, and then you've got my uh, lovely picture here that they used of me. I actually remember this picture. It's from one of my videos, right? And I'm pretty sure trees in China are not grey. Mr. Lightfoot did not respond to the BBC's request for an interview. Now, I can tell you why I didn't respond to a request for your interview, because I was way too busy filming BSB News. Here we are! Why don't we take a look at the original picture and let's put it side by side and let's show you, let us showcase to the world the lies that BBC is spreading. Oh, welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, then my name is Jason, aka Waman Cobra, aka Mr. Yoisa, aka Hamba Wang. And today is just a beautiful day once again in Guizhou province. Ah, the fresh air. I mean, look at this weather. The birds are chirping, the sun is shining down. Ah, it's a beautiful day. Now, have I got a good one for you today? Let's get into it. In January, I appeared in the Times newspaper with false accusations against me that I was funded by Beijing. In June, I appeared in the Times again. And now in July, I may have hit the big time because I've made it onto BBC. <laughs> I think I may have struck a nerve at the BBC uh, with my BSB News segments. Here we are, here we are. Here we are, it's a complete war zone. Here we are, and you can see the sky behind me here is painted blue on a daily basis by the Chinese government. The actual color of the sky is a dark, miserable gray. Right, let's get into this BBC article. The title of the article, The Foreigners in China's Disinformation Drive. Disinformation drive. Now that is quite a big statement uh, to make. You would think that in this entire article, there would be some evidence to back up these claims. Uh, just one single shred of evidence. But is there? Ah, yes, that's right. There's no evidence at all in this entire article. Do you know why? Because it's from the BBC, the British state-funded corporation. <laughs> This is coming from the same corporation that deliberately pushed stories of weapons of mass destruction without any evidence of anything in Iraq, which then led to a war which a million people died. Now, this is not disinformation or rumors about the BBC. This actually happened. This is the kind of organization that we're dealing with here. Foreign video bloggers denouncing what they say is negative coverage of China on highly controversial subjects such as Xinjiang are attracting large numbers of subscribers on platforms like YouTube. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, BBC. Take a step back. Look at that sentence that you just wrote. This is about the only bit of truth in this entire article. Attracting large numbers of subscribers on platforms like YouTube. Think about why that is. Is it because people are sick of tuning in to BBC, Fox News, CNN, Sky News? They're sick of seeing the lies about China. They're searching for an alternative source to get their news about China. And so they're tuning in to channels like mine, to people who are actually here in China, live on the ground and showing you the truth, showing you what China is actually like. Who are the vloggers? The vloggers include British expatriates Barry Jones, Jason Lightfoot, that's me, and father and son team, the one and only Lee and Ollie Barrett. <laughs> I just added the one and only. Who use their platforms to comment on the West's alleged lies and China's government policies. No, wait, hold on a second. That sentence incorrect. Not alleged lies actual lies that you are spouting on a daily basis. Lee Barrett has been listed as a global stringer on CTTN's website in recent videos on Xinjiang. That is somebody who reports for the broadcaster but is not a staff employee. 
Jason Lightfoot is also on its list of stringers. The station billed him as a vlogger critical of distorted reports by Western media outlets. Yes, that's right. I am critical of your distorted, twisted, warped lies that you tell about China. What's wrong? What's wrong with that, BBC? Eh? Right, and then you've got my uh, lovely picture here that they used of me. I actually remember this picture. It's from one of my videos, right? And I'm pretty sure trees in China are not grey, uh, if, I, if I can see here. Um, and so let's take a closer look at this picture because actually this picture has been altered by the BBC. Now, it's kind of ironic. The ones claiming that us foreigners are carrying out some disinformation drive, they themselves are spreading disinformation and altering pictures. Why don't we take a look at the original picture? Ah, yes, of course I have the original picture. And let's put it side by side and let's show you, let us showcase to the world the lies that BBC is spreading. The things that they alter. If they're altering pictures like this, can you imagine what else they're altering? Videos they're changing, lies they're spreading, stories they're making up. The proof is in the pudding. This picture, this comparison of pictures, speaks a thousand words. Mr. Lightfoot did not respond to the BBC's request for an interview. Now, I can tell you why I didn't respond to a request for your interview, because I was way too busy filming BSB News. Here we are, and you can see behind me a concentration camp of terror. You can see the bars of turmoil here. Let's take a look at this camp where one billion minorities are being held. Let's take a closer look inside here. Uh, 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 hold, hold on a second. Uh, why? Why is there seating and a, and a, and a, a foot? A football pitch? I, I don't understand. Take the camera off. Some vloggers are suspected of cooperating with state-owned outlets to spread China's rhetoric to the world. But it's far from clear what really motivates them or how effective this strategy, strategy is. Well, let me tell you, BBC, because you seem to not understand why I make the videos I make. China is my second home. It's my adopted home. I have my family here. My wife's here. My little newborn baby Lincoln. Uh, update uh, coming soon, by the way. He's also here. And just like many other foreigners uh, and Chinese people throughout this country, they're sick and tired of seeing the state-funded lies being spread about China. And so are hundreds of millions of people around the world. They're also sick of it. And so together we're speaking up we're showing you what it's actually like here in China, showing you the truth. It then goes on to quote a guy who they claim is some kind of expert on China called Robert Potter. He basically just makes a bunch of false claims and lies about China, right? But who is this guy? Who's this guy funded by? Now, you're probably not going to believe this, but this guy owns an organization, right, which is literally funded by the State Department of the United States and the United States Department of Defense. This is the guy who they're quoting in this article. A guy who's funded by America once again to spread lies about China. It then says, a spokesperson for YouTube said its labeling of government videos is intended to help better equip viewers with information to make decisions about their news consumption. It said that all videos uploaded to YouTube must comply with its community guidelines and it reviews flagged videos on a case-by-case -case basis. YouTube said that the videos sent to it by the BBC did not violate its guidelines. Hold on a second, video sent to it by the BBC. So basically these two little rats who wrote this article, right? These sniveling little rats, they tried to send some of our videos from the China blogging community and tried to report it and tried to flag it. They tried to basically they tried to get us banned or censored or videos removed. For what reason? For showing the truth? And YouTube responded saying, 
there's nothing wrong with these videos. What, why are you sending me videos? Stop sending me videos, BBC. <laughs> Basically, this entire article, I mean, it's quite a long article. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing because no one's got time to read that kind of garbage, right? All they're trying to do is they're trying to create this atmosphere, create this environment in which people become afraid to speak up for China. People become afraid to show the truth about China because then maybe if they do, they're gonna appear in some Times article uh, being slandered or they're gonna appear on a BBC article with a smear campaign against them trying to discredit their uh, information or their message. This entire article is an attempt to silence us, silence our voice, censor us, label and discredit our message. But they will never silence me and they can never silence us because we are an army. BBC, I hope you're watching this. We are an army of people and we're only getting bigger and stronger every single day. It reminds me of the famous quote by Napoleon. Let China sleep, for when she awakes, she will shake the world. She's awake, baby. She's awake. <laughs> Although I didn't really go into depth into the article uh, in this video, there's already a few channels that have done that. Uh, the legendary Daniel Dumbrill, the one and only the infamous Lee Barrett, Guaylo 60, and also um, Brian from New Atlas Channel. They've all made really fantastic uh, videos in response to this article. Uh, and it's a good thing that the China vlogging community uh, and, and China online community as a whole are coming together to fight this. They cannot silence all of us. The truth will always come out.